and welcome back to my channel today is very exciting because we have started setting up our christmas decorations and i am just excited to be getting them up i feel like i've been waiting weeks already even though it's still november last year around this time i had just had lily and so we didn't get to put up christmas decorations until after thanksgiving and i remember feeling like we put them up and then took them down like a few weeks later just because i like to have a fresh start to the new year and kind of just put everything away for new year's so i'm glad that this year we're able to get them up a little bit earlier that way we have time to really enjoy them and i think there's only like six or seven mondays left until christmas so when you think about it like that it's really not early it's like perfect timing so we decided to start a little family tradition where when we decorate for christmas the night before we dress in our christmas jammies and then we wake up in the morning and decorate together as a family i like decorating as a family because our kids just get excited especially Jaden. He's at a good age now where he has actually been asking for the Christmas tree since we've been watching a few Christmas movies and reading some Christmas stories. So he's really excited to just like be a part of it. So we're gonna decorate as a family the tree and then I'm gonna kind of just take over and decorate and do some cleaning of the rest of the house. Cinnamon buns. Ready? Pop. <laughs> So I got these ornaments from Hobby Lobby the other day. I'm gonna try these and see how they look before adding any of our other ones. We used to do like all red ornaments, but recently I've been wanting something like more light and shimmery. I was gonna do all white, but I felt like that was too much of a commitment. So I figured these would mix in really nicely. They were 50% off at Hobby Lobby. Someone please tell us that Batman is not a Christmas movie. What are you showing me? Is this Batman? <laughs> oh, there's Christmas lights. It doesn't make it a Christmas movie. Wait, get to it. Look at it's a Christmas tree. All right. Make it a vote. Does it count or does it not count as a Christmas tree? tree. They 
left me. What happened? Where's my elves? So earlier today, we put up the Christmas tree with the kiddos. It was a lot of fun. I love doing it as a family. We kind of just stopped midway when the kids were over it and took a little break. So they're actually still in their pajamas hanging out in the living room. And I am going to go ahead and kind of focus on getting the rest of the decorating done. And at least started. I don't know about done, but I kind of just want to finish the living room. I was going to go with a like all white theme this year, but I figured like in this stage of life, it's just not our stage for all white anything, which is okay. I'm going to go for more of like a gold warm tony feel for our christmas decorations this year and i don't know i just want it to be like homey and cozy in the past i've done a lot of reds but i kind of want to just go for more gold tone things with like hints of red i do love red just because i feel like it's a christmas classic but i don't know we'll see how it all turns out but I honestly just have so much fun like decorating and cleaning as we go for the holidays. We are two weeks away from Thanksgiving, which I think we're going to be hosting, but we're going to be going out of town right before that. So I do like to just like have the house ready and like be able to have time to really enjoy it with the kiddos. And I think it's just such a fun feeling to like watch a movie together and have the Christmas lights going. So that's kind of like the atmosphere that I'm trying to create for the holiday season in our home. It's super easy to get wrapped up in all of the holiday things, but definitely trying to make sure we use this as a time to like connect with our kiddos and connect with our family and have these conversations about why we celebrate. Yes, I know Jesus wasn't actually born on Christmas, but it's okay. We can still like celebrate that as a family. So that's what we are choosing to do this year. I know it kind of looks empty at the bottom, but I kind of did that intentionally just because I have little ones. I don't really want them to be able to pull off the bulbs. So I tried to kind of start from like here up. That way the my little ones can't reach the bottom. We made a lot of progress with the Christmas decorations. We obviously still have a ways to go, but we got the tree up. We ended up taking a little break and watching the movie The Star with the kids, which was so cute. I loved like the story behind it and how they added the animals, so our kids loved it. Our little one is napping now. I think that with anything, but especially with holidays, we have to be careful with our expectations, especially when it comes to having littles. Even just like this morning, we were putting up the Christmas decorations and we were all having a great time. And one of my kids was eating a candy cane and the candy cane broke in half. And that caused some really big feelings about how the candy cane was broken. And a lot of emotions were coming out around that. And in that moment, it was really easy to just want to get frustrated because it's like, we're all having a good time why are we crying about a candy cane but it's just really important for us like as parents to regulate our emotions first so just like taking a deep breath and then being able to like calm our toddler and help them to work on those coping strategies but I don't know it can just be easy to have like all these expectations of like everything's gonna go perfectly no matter like what the activity is like whether it's like looking at christmas lights or going to a nativity scene or like whatever it is that you're doing sometimes there's these expectations that come with it and it's important that you know especially in this state of life i kind of learn to like let go a little bit and just go with the flow and know that nothing's gonna go perfectly it's okay if there's like some tantrums or some big feelings in between um, but just taking it like step by step and enjoying 
the moments even when they're messy and they're not picture perfect or aesthetic like it's okay to still just like be in the moment and enjoy it and know that these little years of them having like christmas and the holidays i feel like it goes by so fast but also not put too much weight on like every moment being perfect or going the way like we planned it but just letting it be and making it enjoyable